got some good snow. It's January 15th or 16th right now, and man, it's coming down. We've got, I think, between the last three days, we barely had anything before. We're, we're up over the two foot mark. That driveway we just did there, it was already blown once. the Kubota L6060 moving some snow. We had a great, great dumping of snow. We're supposed to get close to three feet. I measured about 25, 26 inches this morning on a spot that I hadn't shoveled that, you know, it didn't blow or anything. So 
obviously we've done this a couple times that I haven't got on film, but we have some beautiful spots here to film and uh, I just thought I'd get out and show the nice power of the L6060. We upgraded from a 2650, a B2650 and it was pushing our limits last year. So now that thing with the 80 inch blower is just amazing. So we do have a scraper blade on the back. We just gotta do some work on it. So we got it off right now and we really don't need it. So the scraper blade's just nice for a little bit of uh, weight, but since, you know, this is great traction since it's nice and cold, it's about minus 10 now and it makes it a lot more nimble the tractor without the scraper blade but anyways the weight is always nice to have but whatever we're uh making a nice path here and the blower really worked great i'd love to hear your comments on it and if you enjoyed this video please give me a like and a subscribe the Kubota, we really like it and i'd like to hear your opinions on uh comparable blowers and tractors and just different setups we're open for anything and this is a new setup for us this year and uh, with that Pronovos blower it really makes it easy and in the wet snow it doesn't clog up we were having issues with the Kubota blower on our old tractor where it would clog up but this one you know that thing just shoots the snow amazing and it's by no means a new blower we uh, stripped it all down check out my other videos I stripped it all down this summer sanded it primed it painted it and uh, made it look new again. And uh, you know, a lot of the stuff is well made on those blowers. We never had any issues with replacing bearings and stuff. And the tractor's got, I think it's over 1500 hours on it. Whew, let's slip there. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll let you get going. I hope you like this. I'm hoping it'll be 10 plus minutes of video. And uh, I'd love to hear you know if I should overlay some sound into the video or not. In this first video, I'm just gonna put some regular raw engine power. You know, guys like to listen to the engine, listen to the blower, see how things work. But if it gets boring, let me know and I'll change up some editing. But thanks for watching, guys. I'm Josh, this is Schneids15, and uh, thanks again for watching.